Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC bringing you more. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. So in the last video we made our way back to Skytown once more and got ourselves the Spider Ball. Yes, excellent. So now we finally have the means of accessing the shielding unit back on the pirate homeworld. So with that being said, let's hop onto our ship and we'll get heading back over there. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull up the map here. There we go, just go ahead and go into the galaxy view. And we'll fly our butt right over here to the pirate homeworld, and we'll make our descent back over here at the research facility. Alright, so now that we're back here at the research facility, the way that we want to go is over here to our right. Because if you remember at the end of the last video, we used a transit system. Well, if we ride it back the other way, it'll actually take us to where we need to go rather quickly. So that's pretty nice. All we need to do is hop in here and use this lever. Samus, the Federation Armada is now in orbit above the pirate homeworld. We're ready for the final assault, but the base is protected by a barrier that prevents us from landing. We need you to disable this defense system. Unit 242 has located its control center. Here are the coordinates. Ah, so it looks like the Federation can't continue with its final assault until we take down a barrier control unit here on the planet. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that right now, so we'll just have to remember that for later on. For the time being, let's just go ahead and continue with what we were doing. All right, beautiful. So now we'll just head over this way, back over here to the room where we fought Gandreda, and we'll use this lift that we activated together, and we'll ride it on down. All right, so now that we're down here, all we needed to do is go through this doorway, and yeah, check it out. Here we are in the area where that shielding unit is at. And with our newly acquired spider ball, we can actually take this track over here on the wall and we can gain access to the central area just beyond the glass over here. All right, just got to roll through this tube. There we go. And once we roll through this way, we're going to come across a couple of spinners here that will rotate separate sections of this center uh, pillar. And what we want to do first is start off by using this right one. We just want to line this uh, top pathway up with that bottom section. Yeah, just like so. And now we can use these air puffs here. And we can ride our way up top. Very annoyingly slow. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And for heading up this way, check it out. We can get ourselves some missile expansion. Alright, 
So now we just want to roll our way back down to those spinners. All right, there we go. We'll start off by using the left one here. We just want to rotate that bottom part until we got that uh, spider ball track showing up there, just like that. Now we just want to rotate the right part here until we got that track lining up. And now we can actually use this pathway here to head over here to the left. All right, look at that. That brought us in here to this control room. And all we have to do is just use this panel over here. Alright, check it out. Let's go ahead and grab it. And with that, we have finally collected the Hazard Shield. So with this, not only are we safe from the acid rain, but we're also safe from fuel gel as well. So that's really nice. And of course, the space pirates don't like us taking their stuff, so they're going to attack us. Now before we take out these guys, though, we actually want to go ahead and give them a quick scan. These are assault arrow troopers. As far as I know, this is the only time that you can scan these guys. So you want to make sure that you get their scan out of the way before you destroy them. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into Hyper real quick. And we'll just give them a couple blasts. There we go. All right. So as you can see, we got some acid rain out here. Now, once we jump out into it, yeah, look at that. We'll glow orange, and that'll mean that we're immune from the damage. So yeah, that is really nice. Now, one thing I do want to mention about this hazard shield is on top of it protecting us from acid rain and fuel gel, it will also reduce damage that we take overall as well. So it's basically this uh, game's version of a suit upgrade. So yeah, that is really nice. All right, so now let's just go ahead and use this panel over here. Ah, more space pirates. Yeah, we're going to have this assault trooper to take care of. We're also going to have a couple of commandos that will show up as well. So let's just go ahead and get up here in their face. We'll just destroy him real quick. There we go. All right, where's the other guy? Looks like he's down here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there you are. All right, beautiful. All right, you just got to get out of hyper mode here. There we go. All right, so with them out of the way, just go ahead and destroy some of these crates here. See if I can get my energy back up. Ooh, I'll be taking that. Yeah, thank you very much. Ooh, and this will actually put us up to full. It's like, don't mind if I do. All right, so now we just want to take this pathway over here to the right. And we'll just go through this doorway right here. We just want to make our way quickly across this Metroid room. Because I actually don't want to fight them. It's like, I can take them out rather easily, but... You know, I'd just rather not waste my time and energy trying to deal with them. Alright, there we go. Let's see, I actually don't need any energy or missiles, so I don't know why I'm destroying those things. Alright, so what we want to do now is just go ahead and destroy that guy across the way there. And with our shielding unit, we can safely make our way over here. 
grab onto that ledge. And once we're up top, yeah, look at that. We got some Phazon crystals blocking the way here. So what we want to do is hop into Hyper and just blast them with our Phazon missiles. Yeah, there we go. All right, before we move on, we actually want to go ahead and give this object over here on the wall a scan. We have ourselves another Space Pirate lore entry. This is Taking Valhalla. The vision of our leader is vast indeed. As we prepared for war with the hated Galactic Federation, she decided she required one of their great machines to better control her living planet. We then set out to bring an Aurora unit to Doc Samus. Bribes led us to the location of our prize, the battleship Valhalla. Crewed with green recruits on a training mission, she was ours for the taking. One of the mightiest ships in the cosmos was no match for the Phazon-powered weapons of the Colossus. We rendered Valhalla helpless, then sent raiders to acclaim our prize. The Aurora was ours. There was to be no mercy for the Federation dogs. At the command of Doc Samus, we jettisoned the crew into the frigid depths of space, leaving the wreck of Valhalla as a warning to the Federation. Let them tremble before our might. Yeah, the one thing that gets me about that scan is, who did they bribe? Did they bribe other Federation troopers? Because if so, then that just leads to a lot more questions. <laughs> All right, now once we come in here, we're going to have some holding cells that have spinners on top that we need to activate. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just got to start off by using this one over here. All right, and that'll put us up top where we just need to set a bomb. All right, there we go. And it's just the same deal over here with this one. Just want to rotate this thing. Come on. There we go. That's not good. Yeah, let's go ahead and give this guy a quick scan. Right, get out of my face, man. What the hell? Yeah, this is a Metroid Hatcher. And this is one of the more annoying mini-bosses in the game, because he has these four tentacles on him that we need to take care of first, and once he retracts all of them, then he'll open up his mouth, and what we need to do is just shoot in his mouth, and that'll stun him, and that'll allow us to rip off one of his tentacles. And we have to do that four times. Yeah, on top of that, this hitting this guy's tentacles is really annoying to do. I found the best way of doing it is just to use our Seeker missiles and try and lock on to all of them at once. Because, yeah, if you just try and shoot them normally, it's just really hard to do. You can see he just keeps moving it out of the way. All right, now, once all of them are retracted like that, we just want to get close to him, wait for him to start doing that, and just pop him in the mouth to stun him, and just pull off one of his tentacles. Alright, there we go. So now he only has three of those guys now. Ah, goddamn, I hate that fucking move. It's so hard to avoid it. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and get that other one. All right, just keep a track on where he's going. All right, and if we don't take him out fast enough, yeah, we're gonna have Metroids to deal with. That one just immediately latched onto me too. It's like, that is annoying. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull off another tentacle. All right, thankfully he only has two now. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, fucking hell, I just walked right into it. Alright, good. That took out both tentacles at once. So now let's just get in close. And pull off another tentacle. Alright, only one more left. It's like, I have your number now, buddy. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop him one more time. And 
pull off that last tentacle. All right, there we go. And that fight went a lot smoother than a lot of my other uh, times trying to fight him off screen. Yeah, it, that fight just really sucks. All right, for defeating him, we gain access to this spinner over here. So let's go ahead and use this one. Oh, God, I hate that camera movement there. It makes me so nauseous. It's like, why the hell did they think that was a good idea? Ugh. All right, before we get rolling on here, I actually want to go ahead and use this spider ball track. Oh, shit. Ah, God damn it. And I don't want to fall there, obviously. So, yeah, let's go ahead and use this spinner again. All right, there we go. All right, thankfully, I can actually skip through the, this cutscene. Yeah, so we don't have to watch that again. All right, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Yeah, this is really annoying. Yeah, it's when the camera changes, it kind of screws up uh, the directional key. So it's like you think you're going forward, but it ends up taking the you the other way, which is what happens there. So yeah, you got to be a little bit careful and conscious about that. All right, there we go. Yeah, stop it. All right, there we go. All right, for doing all that, yeah, look at that. We get an energy tank over here. It's like, yeah, that definitely makes it worth it. All right, unfortunately, we have to take that uh, this spinner one more time. All right, come on. It's like sometimes it just doesn't want to spin me at all. Yeah, just go ahead and skip through that again. It's like, I don't want to watch that. All right, now we just want to take this pathway over here and use this bomb slot. All right, looks like we got some wall jumping panels here. So let's just go ahead and use our screw attack on them. I don't know what the hell happened there. All right, let's try that again. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and destroy these caches here. Oh, actually, I'm actually full on energy and missiles, so I don't need to worry about that. We'll just continue down this way. And if you need to use a save point, you can actually come in here, and we got one just right there. But I'm looking good on time, so we'll just keep moving forward. We'll go ahead and scan this glyph here. There we go. Now allow us to use this terminal. All right, we got ourselves another transit line. Let's go ahead and see where this one takes us. All right, and with that, we're actually back over here at the command center. How convenient. I right, just got to head on through this way, and we can use this bomb slot here to access the other side of this wall. Ugh, even that cutscene's a little nauseating. It's like, why can't things just move normally? It's like, I don't want to vomit everywhere. 
All right, we just want to head back out this way. Once we come out here, ah, look at that. The space pirates are expecting us. So let's just go ahead and hop into hyper. We'll take down these assault troopers real quick. Where the hell are you? There we go. All right, die, buddy. All right, so with them out of the way, we actually want to head over here first off and use this grapple ledge. Oh, come on. There we go. We just want to roll on through to get up to this top area. All right, there we go. Okay. So now we can actually check out what's over this way. If we head on the, across this walkway and come over here, ah, look at that, we got another lore entry on the wall. Let's go ahead and give it a scan. This is Space Pirate Lore Entry Disaster at Alicia. The march of the hunter continues, much to our dismay. She has smashed our line at Alicia, taking down Commander Gore in the process. The accursed Elysian machines were no match for Eren's guns, and now the Federation has control of their spy station once again. It is only a matter of time before they find the location of the Phazon source and send their fleets to lay siege. Our great leader does not seem to mind these setbacks. If Samus comes to our homeworld, she will find us ready. Yeah, I don't know guys, you haven't seemed ready so far. You're only sending a couple of space pirates at us at a time. You're kind of just letting me roam free through the planet. So, yeah, it seems like you're not doing a whole lot, considering I'm like your greatest enemy. All right, so let's go ahead and depower this panel over here on the wall. There we go. Now I'll take down this barrier blocking our path. So now we can just head on this way, and if you didn't get the Scritter scan before, you can actually get it right here, if you like. Oh, look at that, 700 kills. Very nice. My killing machine! All right. Well, that's not good. Let's go ahead and take out these space pirates real quick. Yeah, screw you, Commando. All right, there we go. All right, looks like we have some crawl tanks to take care of. Let's go ahead and shoot them down real quick. And just two more to shoot down. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and vent out the rest of that phase on. There we go. Yeah, might as well destroy that, get all my energy back. And yeah, it looks like we actually can't make our way to the seed now. It's uh, unable to open while the center's defense system is online. Yeah, so that sucks. We got to find a way to take care of that. Now before we get moving on through this pathway that was opened up by that one crawl tank, I actually want to get out my scan visor, because we can scan this guy. We have another lore entry here. This is Space Pirate's uh, lore entry purification. Our great leader, with the aid of our captured Aurora unit, has discovered many of Faze's secrets. Doc Samus can now command the living world to send forth Phazon seeds. She was eager to test this new power. When we heard the first world to receive this blessing was our homeworld, we rejoiced. The seed was sent into the void, and quickly made its way to our homeworld. Our brethren foolishly tried to repel it, but their efforts were in vain, to think once we were as pathetic as them. Now the deed is done, and slowly our homeworld becomes like Faze. Soon there will be two living planets, two face on sources for our great leader to use as she sees fit. Soon there will be thousands of new disciples for her to command. 
Yeah, they are definitely being mind controlled, because yeah, it even sounds like the other pirates didn't want any part of that. See, that's pretty bad when even we're like, yeah, we should probably save the space pirates. Alrighty. Now, once we're here, we actually want to unmorph real quick. That way we can drain the power from this control unit and bring down that barrier. And yeah, look at that. This is actually where that barrier control unit is at. It's just behind there. But we can't do anything about that for the time. So we'll just have to remember that location for a little bit later on. Alright, so now we just want to take this uh, spider ball track. We'll take it up here to the top of this room. There we go. And hey, look at this. Looks like we have another transit area out here. Let's go ahead and activate it real quick. There we go. And just got to use this panel. Alright, so let's go ahead and see where this one takes us. Alright, so if we actually check our map here, ah, look at this, we're actually in a whole brand new area. But before we get to exploring any further, I actually want to head through this doorway right here, because we got ourselves a save point. Let's go ahead and utilize that real quick. All right, and there we are. So how are we going to disable the defense system so that the Federation can begin its assault on the pirate homeworld? Well, we're going to have to find out in the next video, so stay tuned for more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption.